Okay, this video is going to cover how the indexing system works on the turret on the Brunswick pin setter. You have a trip lever right here, and every time a pin falls over, it hits that trip lever. And below is this one link right here, it's a short link. There's a locking roller right above here that the short link centers up on. And whenever the trip lever goes over and hits the pin, it releases that link which allows it to index one spot to each spot on the cam here that's on the bottom of the turret then there's also right in here a clutch mechanism that's used every time the five pin drops in because the five pin drops into a chute and does not hit the trip lever you'll see that in a minute that it releases the clutch which manually will index this trip lever without a pin being in it once the five pin drops in. There's two blocking fingers right here, one that keeps the machine from dropping pins when the deck is not all the way up, so you don't drop pins everywhere while it's down setting pins or something. And the other one that locks out whenever there's already 10 pins in the deck so you don't get another set of pins dumped on a set of pins. And this is from the earlier video on the two to one, this is the deck lift shaft that holds the whole machine up but that's the uh, bottom of the long link connected to the deck lift shaft there's a lot of other stuff to cover in other videos but this one will cover the indexing mechanism on the pin setter let me get out and I can run it through a few cycles and then you can see the clutch mechanism work at the end when the five pin drops in crawl out and let me turn the machine on there you see the trip lever and every time the pin falls into it it causes the turret to advance one spot the five pin drops in there the clutch just engaged to a trip that one because there's no pin to physically advance the turret. Like I say, whenever the five pin drops in the last one, that clutch is engaged and advances the trip lever manually, which you'll see here in just a second. When the last pin drops in, watch it here. It trips, sets a set of pins. clutch mechanism it's kind of hard to see but it's right there on the bottom of that plate is not turning at this point the plate turns with the belt on it but the bottom plate does not turn its only function is whenever you get the five pin drops in that it hits a lever which advances the clutch one spot the whole system is driven off this belt right here the long turret belt a pretty ingenious system that Brunswick came up with let me I don't think I can get up to show you the turret clutch mechanism but let me try all right when it comes around to the five pin let me get some pins going here Imagine there's pins doing this. This little lever right here, only on the five pin will hit that little lever that's sticking out right there and cause the clutch to engage to advance at one spot. You see that little gear? There's a gear right there and you'll see it go only when that clutch mechanism is fixed. When it comes around to the five pin and it drops, watch that little gear turn when it hits that lever. When one lever hits the other lever, releases the clutch, and you get one advance. Here it comes. The two levers are right up against each other. There it goes. There's your one, 
That's the whole purpose of that. Whenever you go into a Brunswick house and you hear a high-pitched whine, that's somebody leaving a pin sitter on for a while and the turret clutch is whining away because it's just spinning on itself and is generating all that heat. But that's the mechanism for the turret operation, how it works. Hopefully it makes some sense to you. And I'll do some more videos later.